one of those days where I kind of felt I haven't been able to get traction. <laughs> Just woke up, and yes, I literally wake up this ugly three, six, five days of the year. But I'm even selfieing it on the selfie, not selfie stick. I'm holding the gorilla pod because I can't be bothered to even sell the proper tripod. That's how lazy I am. But I'm vlogging today. Uh, what's been going on in my life? My brother left London, which is a bit annoying <laughs> because he just moved to America. Wish him all the best, but yeah, we lived apart for a long time. I was living in Asia, he was here in London. I just moved back to London like in the last year and he's left. A bit annoying with best mates but you know that's a bit meh but you gotta get on with things in life. I wish him all the best. It's a small world. I'll be going to LA to see him. He'll be coming back to London so it's all gonna be good in the long run. But yeah he just left recently. Um, just take on a new VIP client. One, one of the I train a very few select clients face to face. Most of my clients are online. I do online coaching, but yeah, had a new client, which is cool. And this guy is uh, really motivated, and I'm really looking forward to seeing his transformation. So that's cool. But today, I've got work to do on the computer. Let me meet a friend for a coffee. Maybe do some cardio and abs. I don't know. It's going to be a random vlog. It's just going to be mix mash. And yeah, but last night I met my mate Dan as well. Had some burger and fries and some potato. Probably went over my fats. Eyeballed it, my carbs and protein are probably on point. But how's the physique looking? But physique check, not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. But yeah, um, let's get it started. caught up went for coffee with a friend that overran came back jumped on Skype for ages it's now like 345 where's the day go it's not a heavy lifting day today so I'm not gonna go and work out as such but I do want to go and do some uphill walking a little bit of cardio do some work on my phone do some abs maybe some stretching I'm really aching from training I don't know why this week just body's aching got a tiny bit of an injury as well in my um, right forearm feels a little bit like tendonitis so uh, yeah being a bit careful there On the way to the gym, haven't been anywhere near as productive as I'd like today, but sometimes you've got to take the rough with the smooth. So on my non-lifting days, I like to come and do about 30, 35 minutes uphill walking on the treadmill. Good for the legs, active recovery, uh, bit of calorie burning, 300 calories or what's not, and then I'll do a bit of the abs, light abs. I've been slacking a little bit over the last uh, month on this actually, because I kind of switched to more of a hypertrophy program, so kind of more muscle building, not so heavy with the weights, but now I'll switch back to that more heavy weight program with a bit of hypertrophy, a bit more muscle building on the uh, accessory work. That's probably why I'm feeling the, the doms, the ache at the moment. But this is loosening me up and I sweat on. Uphill walking done, clients emailed replied to. Time for abs.
clients' emails, feeling a bit more productive. Uh, on the way home now, and at home I've got uh, my dinner waiting for me that I put on a slow cooker. So we'll see how that is when we get home. But before that, I'm gonna stop by Tesco's. I wanna get some green tea because I've really been on my coffee lately. And I'm not gonna stop drinking coffee because I like it. I like the way it makes me feel before a workout, but I do wanna get some green tea back in the system too. Maybe start the day with green tea, progress to coffee, then hit the gym. My stew is looking fresh. We got uh, turkey, 150 grams of turkey. Oh my god, my lens is steaming up because it's so hot. We've got 200 grams of potatoes diced, broccoli. Um, we've got veg other veggies in there like mushrooms. It is going to be nice. And I'm going to add some sauce and spices to it. But yeah, it's been cooking for a few hours. Well, more than a few hours, four or five hours. And I'm going to destroy this in a sec. in the walk-in wardrobe where the lighting's good close as you can see um, just topped off my macros for the day with that uh, slow cooking hot pot that I had which was good but I mean one of those days where I kind of felt I haven't been able to get traction and you know we've all got bars or we've all got a bar or a standard that we know that when we're productive we hit certain things and it's not, not like I didn't do anything I put some content out there I posted a blog post, I spoke to clients. Um, I did stuff, but I don't know, it just didn't seem to be going. But you know, sometimes that happens, that's life. It's not always gonna be productive, not always gonna be burning fuel, burning cylinders, whatever, at, you know, 100% of the time. Sometimes you're gonna have days which aren't as productive. But anyway, I've been reading this book for the past, well, the past month or so, on and off. Uh, it's a classic, feel the fear and do it anyway. You probably don't even need to read the book to know what it's about. It's great when you don't put your phone on silent and it goes off like that. You probably don't even need to read the book to know what it's about. But it's a basically about stuff that I like, getting out of your comfort zone, being uncomfortable, feeling the fear and doing it anyway. And whatever that is, that could be going for a new career, going to speak to that person who you think is attractive starting a health and fitness plan. Feel the fear and do it anyway. And that's an ethos that I try and take on into my daily life. And yeah, there's things that obviously scare us all, or we feel, oh, we don't know if we should do that. But you know what? Life is about growing and evolving and pushing out of our comfort zone. And that's when we grow, that's when we learn, that's when we expand. So I would suggest reading the book, but if you're not gonna read the book, at least take that away. If you wanna do something and you feel that fear inside, but you know you really wanna do it, do it anyway because life's short, we're all going to be gone one day, so do it anyway.